first, I think, for people who aren't familiar with Unix, you have, um, you have a lot of short commands because Unix was designed for machines uh, for terminals that ran very slowly, mm -hmm. teletypes. And a command like this will generate a lot of uh, information that well, needs a little interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What you're seeing more and more today is um, applications being built um, with interfaces derived from DOS. Okay. Mm -hmm. This application is called Filet, and it um, has a, one, two, a Lotus 123 type of interface. And this takes the place of the typical interface that you'd see in, a, say, a standard Unix uh, world. Right. Mm -hmm. User calls up this program or can automatically just log in and be using this program and moves the cursor or this, this highlight by pressing the space bar and there's built-in help. Press Control W and it'll tell you where you are and you know what, what you can do if you get stuck. And return just calls up what you, so what in this you case, wanna. what Unix does is it, it's a really the core of the system. It provides the services for this program to get out the file system and so forth. But really, itself doesn't talk to the user. Exactly. It also provided a environment for the developers mm -hmm. to build Unix. And Unix, that's what you, one of the things Unix does best is to allow people to generate applications mm -hmm. such as this. Now, one of the things that uh, Unix has really pioneered, I think, is the idea of portability of software. That is, you can move it around to various places. And what, uh, John, what do you have? Uh, any comments about the portability of Unix itself? Yeah, that, that is certainly probably the most important area of Unix. Uh, Unix started on some digital equipment machines and has since been moved to literally uh, 50 or 100 different kinds of processors. That's very important because if you're going to invest a lot of effort in building software, it's real helpful to know that you can move it around, move it from anything from uh, personal computers through the very largest mainframes. Mm -hmm. It means you save a lot of your investment. Now, that's also true for software designers. That's, that's, uh, it's certainly true. Because a software designer can then take, say, a, a language uh, like C in a standard runtime library, and then you write an application for it, and you can uh, not only run on Unix, but, say, run on DOS or Concurrent that's DOS true. or whatever. That's true. In fact, actually, though, that's, that's how Unix originally got moved, was that people found that you could move C programs very easily. It was the environment that was dif difficult to copy, and therefore people got to move Unix to other machines. Now, one of the criticisms of Unix has been that it, it was unreliable, and I think all the Unix users have, have heard that over and over in the past years. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the state of it right now in terms of, if we're talking about the core system, the file system, you want that to be very reliable. Uh, what is the current state of that? It's, it's actually fairly good these days. Uh, you have to understand, originally, when you got your Unix system, the, uh, the normal behavior was to find a guru or wizard and chain them to the machine. Right? Therefore, when the disk broke, you would have someone to pick up the pieces and put them back together. That was, say, 1972, 73. Right? But as Unix moved into computer centers and more and more people uh, depended on it, a lot of work was done to make it a much more reliable system. Mm -hmm. And actually, today, it's used in some very fairly demanding applications. One of the things that people don't realize is that actually Unix touches them uh, through the phone system almost every day. If you ever want to get your telephone fixed, the system that keeps track of all that work is run by Unix, mm -hmm. and it, it has very reliable database. All right. There's a, when we get into something like a micro-based system where someone can kick the power cord as they're walking by, now there, uh, there have been criticisms about the reliability. What happens at, at that point? And that's, uh, that's in the commercial system right. that's, people, that's right. what people worry about. Right. And, and indeed, there has been a lot of work that has had to go on mm -hmm. to make it a lot more reliable mm -hmm. system, and it has happened. Mark, I want to go back to your demo for a minute. From a user's point of view, you've shown me how you can sort of friendly up Unix here and make right. it look like MS-DOS. But from a user's point of view, then why do I care? What am I getting from this Unix-based application that I couldn't have been getting from an MS-DOS-based application? <coughs> there, there are two major features that Unix offers, and I would, I would emphasize the point that everyone doesn't want Unix. Okay, if you have an MS-DOS system running an application and it's doing what you need it to do, maybe Unix is not what you need. However, Unix is a multi-user operating system. I can, I can do a query, look at data, at the same time someone else is looking or changing the same data, someone else, and this is all on the same machine, is using a word processing system, someone is doing graphics. Um, so it's a multi-user machine. 
everyone doesn't have to fight over the one machine. Um, it's also a multi, multi tongue twister, <laughs> multitasking operating system. I can be performing my work here while the printer is printing a report and while I'm doing some other processing uh, in the background.